Execution is really important for UConn. They're going to give Mule the open shot. That's huge for UConn that Mule knocked in that three. Mitchell Saunders drives. Shot too strong. Does not get the foul call. And here come the Huskies in transition. Dorka Juhas. It's on the brakes. The nice spin. And got it. Love the jump stop there by Juhas. Juhas needs a cutting. Lopez Seneschal. And a timeout by Creighton. At exactly the start that Jim Flannery did not want to see, and Gino Auriemma did. Only one of the top scorers in the Big East Conference early in this season. There is Lopez Seneschal. Yes, the rainbow shot. That's for two. Juhas guarded by Ronson. Mule sees a sliver of an opening and gets it. And I would expect many of these shots for Creighton to start falling. Here's Jensen. And in the corner, Saunders left alone. Gets it. There's a three. So now a two and a half minute scoring drought for the Blue Jays. And here is Mule handling. Juhas again. Gets the bucket and the foul and lets out the scream to her teammates. Six seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Cutting inside, Ducharme somehow got that pass. Unbelievable catch by Ducharme. Lauren Jensen, one of six from the floor in that first half. Here is Aaliyah Edwards for two with the answer for UConn. Leading the team in the nation in field goal percentage are the Huskies. Mule kicks, Ducharme, that's a three. First from long range for Caroline in this game. Leadership, maturity, attitude, effort. Aliyah Edwards gets it and gets a foul. How about that play? Uh, we'll see her back, I think, sooner than later, which is great news for UConn. Aliyah Edwards, yes. For Jensen, and just the third made three on 25 attempts as Ducharme drives to the bucket and lays it in. And Flannery yells at his team, what are you doing?